Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telerik Test Studio. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can set up Azure DevOps pipeline and use Telerik Test Studio to perform tests in your local machine before you push your changes in production. We'll also push a sample change in our Azure DevOps and we'll see how the Azure pipeline gets kicked off and how it goes through all the tests in our test list We'll also test a failure. We'll see how Test Studio fails one of the tests in test list and how Azure Pipeline doesn't let you push your changes in production. In this section, I'm going to push a sample change in production. This is my localhost environment where I have made the change. And if you look at the production region, which is Telric Blazer UI Azure Websites.net. I do not have that change there. But before I push this change, I would like to get it tested. I would like to go through six tests, which you can find in our test studio test list. I have defined this six tests in this test list. I would like to go through this test list before this change is pushed in production. For that, I have already set up an Azure DevOps project, which is Celery Blazer UI. And I have my repository set up here. This is where my source code is. This is a Blazor Wasm project. And I have my test list here too, which is located in test list folder. Now, whenever I push a change in my repository, I want my pipeline to get kicked off and I want it to go through this test list before the changes are published in this region. For that, I have already created a pipeline, which is Telric Blazor UI CI. And I want this to get kicked off whenever I commit this change and push it in this repository. So let's go ahead and commit and push this change in this repository and see if the pipeline gets kicked off or not. For that, I'm gonna go to Visual Studio and here you can see the change, which is a sample change. I have made it in authors page. And here I'm going to add a comment saying that testing CI CD. I'm going to commit this change and push this change. Once I push this change, then that pipeline should get kicked off. If I go to this pipeline, then you can see that testing CI CD commit messages showing here and our pipeline is queued. Now it's running. If I open this and go to this bookstores agent, which is an agent which is running on my local machine. So if I open this command line, window you can see that bookstores agent is running on my machine and it goes through some of the steps which is build solution so it builds the solution with the new code it runs the app so that we could test the app and this is the most important step where we are using art of test runner exe and passing our test list as a parameter so that it can go through all the tests in that test list before the changes are published in the region that you would like to deploy your changes. And as I'm running this command, you can see that is going through all the test lists. So this is the first test in that test list. If I open my test studio, you can see this test here. And the next test is, is author's grid loaded test. If I open Test Studio, you can see that test here. So it's going to go through all the tests in that test list before the changes are published. And in the next step also, we are publishing the test results so that you can check out which test failed if any of the tests are failing. I'm going to pause here and let it run through all the tests. Now you can see that it went through all the tests and the overall result was pass. 
and that's why it went to the next step where it published the results which you can check out in your test studio if you go to your test studio and into the results panel you can see your tests if you open this last test that i've run and it shows six tests passed out of six on this machine and the last step is to publish this app in our Azure region. So I'm using .NET publish command to publish the server project in release configuration on my Azure web service. So if I go to my production region and then refresh my page, you should see the change which we just made in our local environment. So if I refresh the page, that change will start populating here. So this is how the pipeline gets kicked off and it goes through all the tests in test list and then publishes the app in production. Let's dive deeper into these steps in the next section and see how I have set up the CI CD process. To integrate Test Studio with a CI/CD process, we'll have to set up an agent on the machine where the Test Studio is installed so that we can run some of the test list for uh, testing before publishing our app in production. First thing that you need to do is to create a personal access token that you can do from user settings. Here you can click on new token and create a new token with full access, just like I've done it, or you can provide customized access. Once you have the personal access token, you can create an agent pool that you can do from your project settings. You can go to agent pools here. There are some default agent pools, Azure Pipeline and default. I've created this demo pool by clicking on add pool. And here I already have an agent running on my machine, which is this. But you can create a new agent by clicking on this button, new agent. And this will give you an option to download that agent for your machine, depending on which machine you're using i'm using windows so i've downloaded this agent once you're done with that then you can go to that agent and configure that agent you can run this configure command file as an admin and provide your personal access token and set up this machine for running our pipelines once the configuration is done, then you can run this file to run this agent on the machine so that you can perform all the steps in the pipeline. I'm already running this agent and that's the reason why we can see this machine as an online agent. Now, once the agent is running, you can go to your pipeline and here I have set up my pipeline such a way that you can use that agent you can see that i have this bookstores agent pool where i have selected the demo pool that we created for our agent and in this agent job i have built solution where i'm passing the path of my server project then i'm running my server project so that i can test our app and then I am using Art of Test Runner EXE to perform all the steps in the test which are in this test list. Then I have a step to publish the results, which publishes the results in our test studio. So if I go to my test studio and go to results, you can see this test results populating in test studio because of that step. And the last step is to publish the app in our Azure region after these steps are performed fine. If these steps are passing, if the test list is passing, then we are publishing this app in Azure. So this is how you can set up Azure DevOps pipeline and integrate 
test studio with it. In this section, I'm going to show how it looks when one of our tests is failing from the test list. So one of the tests in our test list is to create new publisher, but I'm going to intentionally fail this test by commenting one of the lines in my code. This is to create a new publisher, but I'm commenting this line so that that test will fail and it won't let me push this code in production. So here I'm going to add a comment saying that testing failure, and then I'm going to commit and push change, which will trigger to run our pipeline. If I go to our pipeline, and refresh my page then you can see that this commit has triggered pipeline to be run now this will go through all the steps and uh, it will try to test our application but it will fail because we are pushing some code which is going to fail one of the tests in the test list I'm going to pause the video here and come back to it once it's done running the pipeline. Now you can see that the pipeline did not go through. It did not publish the app in production because one of the tests fail in this step. You can see that overall result is fail. You can go to a test studio and open results tab, and then you can see which test failed you can go to the date and open the last test which ran and you can open this and see which test failed and why it failed so this is how you can tell your developer which functionality is not working through your pipeline that's all about setting up test studio with CI/CD process if you have any questions please Put those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter handle, QS underscore drive, or you can send me an email at QSDrive at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video series. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.